who you are yet, but in case my future man is watching, you know. <laughs> um, when I'm walking down the aisle and stuff, because we're going to hire these like real strap again photographers and videographers or whatever they call it, because I ain't never had no wedding. So I'm going to do it up. <clears throat> When I'm coming down the aisle, because I'm, you know me, fine. <laughs> you know me, fine. Don't be crying. Don't be crying. Don't do that. It don't take all that. No, seriously, because I understand the sentiments of it, because it's going to be real deep. We're going to be, you know, our hearts going to match and stuff, but we're going to be equally yoked, like, you know, church people say. But I don't, cause, no, because I've seen this one um, video. It was real pretty. And she was like, this is my man on one day. He had like two tears come down the side of his face and stuff. Because uh, I'm going to call you out. And your and your and your girls, man. Hey, get your boy. No, get your boy. No, for because he messing up the photos. This is they they expensive and stuff. Photographers and stuff. Don't do that. No, I don't, no, don't do that. Don't do that. It don't take all that. No, seriously. No, really. Am I the only one that sees these pics and videos of these husbands crying and thinks to myself, "What you really crying for? Are you like overwhelmed with happiness or are you really upset?" Because it can go either way. I'm going to show y'all just two pictures just to show you what I mean. Is he happy? Like, if this was my man, I would be like, all right, everybody, um, have a good afternoon. Not, no. He's about to say I do or I don't. Mm -mm. I just, I'm not with it. Just, can you just smile at me? We can cry later together. I don't know. I don't know what more you guys have to do. The guys that are married, I guess crying is questionable nowadays. If you cry on your own wedding, I didn't know there was a problem with that. I did not know. I'm me personally. I'm not with the emotional stuff. And like, if I if I get married, it's like this is a process. The relationship's still gonna go on. Call it beautiful when you want to call it. It's a process, and relationship's still going. I'm not really sentimental about stuff like that. There's little to little things I am sentimental about. I just look at it from a perspective was like the relationship we're getting married she's getting what she wants finally a man putting a ring on her finger and i'm getting a wife to do not take care of my kids and he's gonna raise my kids for me and stuff like that but not like to the point that i'm not gonna be involved she i will be involved with my kids i'm just saying that this is the woman i'm picking to be the mother of my kids you know so just like i don't really think about it like a sentimental words like i see her walking in a dress i would think about it like any other dress like it could it, the relationship's still going on i don't know for me personally, maybe it's the experience for most guys to be like, oh, you know, it's time for me to cry or just I just feel all this emotion and stuff like that. I'm not very emotional like that. You know, I feel emotions, but I'm not emotional like that. I'm not a big crier. So just be like, because my, even my dad and his marriage, like there was no tears. He was just smiling, looking. And my mom came there. They got married. And he was like, all right, back to work. <laughs> that, that was the whole process. So I don't me personally, when guys are crying, I can't understand them guys. Even when some guys cry during relationships, certain situations, I can't understand it. One thing my dad always told me to maintain my emotion and composure. You know, people don't, you know, people, some people don't understand when you go through stuff. And some people don't understand what you're processing at that time. And most women, honestly, when a man is going through a lot, they kind of uh, try to figure it out. Like, is you could see how she's going through something and you will try to fix it. You'll try to support. When she sees you going through something, she questioned it. Does it have to do with me or is there something else? You know, like even there, they're questioning like these guys crying. Instead of just thinking he's in a wedding, he's getting married, it's the thing he's been waiting for. Who knows? It just, but they're like, is it for me or somebody else? So I'm, I'm, I would never advocate for you to be out here crying, boohoo crying. Even if you go through a breakup, go to your boys, go to the gym, go take a shower, cry in the shower and stuff. Talk to your boys, talk your boys through it. Go to the gym and talk about it, but just don't sit here and cry in front of women. I would never believe women. I've been through it, not cried in front of a woman, but, well, I have, I have, I'm lying to you, I have, one time, I cried about um, when I lost a job, I was mad about it, I had a whole bad year, it was just, I broke down at one point, I felt like a failure, but I have, after experiencing that, like, I, people haven't seen me cry since I was, like, a child, you know, and that was my first time crying in front of somebody, since I was a child, my family never seen me cry, and she saw me cry for the first time in my life, somebody saw me cry, and what I understand is that we don't get the same experience when we break down you know it's like a little support here but it's like there's no understanding and i want you to understand that they really don't understand us when we go through emotion because we're not used to seeing us go through emotions and if you are a man and you do show a lot of emotion they look down on you at one point because they you could watch her go through a lot of emotion and it's normalized if a man go through too many emotions it's a problem so 
I wouldn't recommend crime, but I have done it one time my entire life. And I understand that is just not it, guys. I wouldn't recommend you to do it. Not like I'm burdened or I, I feel like I got traumatized. No, just like my understanding of women is just that we don't get the same treatment when it comes to revealing our emotions. You know, if the house is on fire and you're panicking like she's panicking, that's a problem. You know, you have to be the one that be like, OK, let's do this and let's take care of this, because if I'm panicking and she panicking, no, nothing's going to happen. So we have a, a lot of response. That's what I would say when you've been in a relationship with a woman, you have a lot of responsibility. And y'all think it's not a lot. It's a lot. Even when you don't have money, it's a lot, my guy. Dealing with women is a lot in general. So but hey, I don't know, like if y'all cry, y'all weddings and stuff, that's a personal thing. Me personally, I'm just going to be like like my father. It's a wedding. Give her the ring. Cool. Go on about our day to day. We're married now, you know. But hey, if you want to cry, cry. You know, don't be ashamed to cry in front of your boys and in the shower, not in front of women. They look at you weird, like you did something wrong when you cry. It's always weird. I don't understand that. But like I'm scared, guys.